Peace, peace, everybody. So, I'm um, sitting here chat with my guest right now. So we're about nine minutes late, but that's all right. You know, we got an hour and 45 minutes to go. <laughs> so it's all good. Special guest in the house, man. I was just saying when she came in, finally, I got a local MC in the building. I told y'all. And so I'm excited. You want to introduce yourself? What up? What up? I'm Rozzy. R-O-Z-I. How's it going? Everything is good. And you're a local artist here. Uh, we was talking about that. Um, talk about yourself a little bit, because I, I don't tell you the truth. I don't know much about you other than what I saw, like, you know, at the award show. And, yeah. you know, your, your, your cute little Instagram <laughs> post with the, with the stars. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I just like, you know, honestly, uh, let's see, yeah, how's it going? Like yeah, three, four yeah, years ago, I think. Uh, I was working with uh, Miss Bossy, actually. Um, okay, who's now in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I asked her, I was like, yo, yo, um, who, like, what studio do you use? You know, I got some music that I want to record, you know, and she's like, uh, oh, I got the man. And I was like, okay, well, who is it? He's like, she's like, um, Money, you know, Money mm-hmm. at Shoestring Studios. I was like, no. She was like, hit him up, hit him up. I was like, all right, cool, cool. So I hit him up. You know, I got in their head three songs that I wrote, and I was like, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I had only been in the studio one time before. So oh, right, okay. Yeah, so this is only my second time in the studio. <laughs> this like three, I think it was like three, four years ago. And I got in there, and, you know, I started doing my thing. And I came out, he was like, I did not expect that out of you at all. Right. I think that's what a lot of people do. You know, they look at me, and they're like, "What? you know, what you got? Whatever. So the you swag know? didn't get up. <laughs> yeah. that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people Well, can. I mean, three, four years ago, I looked a little different, too, right, though, right. you know. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think I was, like, sure of myself at the time, too. I just, I was going through some things, and I was like, I just wanted to do it. Like I had, like I said, I had only been in the studio one time before, and I had all these songs that I was sitting on for already a while. So I went in and I was like, you know, I got to do this. And he's like, yeah, I did not expect that. And then him and I created a great relationship. And I kept going back and you know kept having these things. And obviously, I just kept getting better, you know, because hearing it. Because like I said, it was only my second time, and it started giving me like the confidence. Like, all right. Oh, shoot, I got there, so yeah. let me keep going. That's dope. And that's why I started did start doing. And then uh, one of my friends actually hit me up on Facebook and was like, "Yo, I just voted for you." And I was like, "Voted for me for what?" <laughs> 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 and she's like, "The Alaska Hip Hop and R and B Awards." I was like, "What?" I had no idea what? they even <laughs> existed. I was like, I didn't even know. Nobody heard me because all I did was put the songs on. Uh, soundcloud after that right, and then i shared right. them on like facebook and i didn't even realize people were like sharing them i wasn't even paying That's attention crazy. to my stuff like that right, right. Uh, i don't even know why i just you know i guess it didn't like i didn't think that it was gonna you know go off like that but i got nominated uh for rookie of the year but i actually uh won that uh j reader which he's so dope so all right. i mean i felt i felt all right about that <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, okay, that works. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. No, no, you good. But, um, yeah, and it kind of like, you know, I guess it was all downhill from there. You know, I just kept going. You know, they gave me some motivation. They gave me some, like, oh, crap, I actually got this. Right, you know? Right. So I just kept riding this stuff and kept going, kept getting nominated. I think I won female rapper of the year last year the last year yeah yeah uh, but uh doing some shows and stuff i uh hemp fest i've done that every every nice. year that it's open um nice. i always have a great time out there and honestly i ain't gonna lie they have the best sound system the <laughs> best sound system i have performed on right that's like the trouble around here every every show i've done it's like the sound system sounds so bad and i know it being an mc man that messes with the energy that messes with the energy so bad it's like how I was like, how when I go out there every time I just feel it, like you know, right, right. I get in. I'm like, that this is it. This is how the sound system need to be. So I don't know who whoever uh, sets up the sound systems out there. I think people in town need to hit them up. <laughs> <laughs> get some, get so you t- get you YouTube lessons. I mean, you can YouTube anything. You think you can YouTube how to work a sound system? I don't know. Maybe it's just the equipment that they're using. The, right. the I don't know. Like it's just it's not. I don't know the acoustics of the room or something. Mm. I have no idea. It could be a lot of things, but 
what, you know what my, my experience, and this is probably what you're dealing with, is that, especially for Alaska, mm. a lot of their venues deal with rock or yeah, that's acoustic true. type. Thing. And I don't, I, and this is this is true even if, when I was in Cali, is some cats don't know how to adjust to artists, you know, rap artists. Yeah. And your flow, from what I've witnessed, your flow is a very relaxed, like, I, I, I was telling my wife, I was like, Yo, like her stuff is the type of joint where I could like sit back with a cigar and a glass of red and just yeah. chill. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. You know what I'm so I don't think people can like it's hard for because I work with a, a rock band out here and I noticed that they you know, if 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 it's a rapper, like they don't they can't <laughs> they can't mix the two. It's weird yeah. and they're so used to having to blare everything that they can't tone it down. So I don't know. Maybe that's that's what you're dealing with. But uh, in any case, I, don't know. You know, I mean, we've been doing this for a while now. I think <laughs> by now, there's no a lot of, I mean, right. there's a lot of shows that go on throughout the year, right, you know. Right. And there's a whole bunch of mix of artists. I feel like if they got, you know, they should be learning how to do that and should yeah, mix right, it, you right. know, get it right because. I'm not gonna lie, like how many shows I've done, I've messed up, you know, mentally. You know, got that connection. It's like right. you got the energy, and if you can't hear it good, like it's like how am I supposed to perform good? How am I supposed to like, you know, you gotta feel it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really yeah, feel right, it. Right. If I'm not feeling it, and you know, I'm not like in love with that right now, then it's not gonna be as good a performance as it could have been. You know, True. so. Yeah, you're right. It'll suck the energy out. I mean, some people are good. Some people do such a good job at even if it's messed up. You know, right. I, I got to get to that point. I like. I feel like I've done it so much. I should be there already. <laughs> but yeah, I want to give a shout out to the Hempfest, to whoever the sound. You know, people over there. Their system is great. That's dope, man. Um, oh, you know, I'm gonna do this PSA because I'm okay. gonna cut. The, I don't wanna cut this conversation. <laughs> so we're gonna do this PSA real quick. We're gonna get back to Roz and talk about some things, man, because I think it's gonna be a really interesting uh, interview. Y'all know what it is. This is Doctor Who, special guest Rozzy right here. Um, KRUA 88.1. I keep wanting to say this. So. <laughs> KRUA 88.1. This is the Urban Monk for the Infinity Corner Radio Show. Y'all keep it locked. Stay tuned right here.